Hello, everybody. It is Monday, May 11th, and hey, it is a great day to be a junior potter. Make sure that you're doing all the things that we've come to know, because it's coming up to being some of the last ones that we'll do in this time, hopefully. And when the fall rolls around, we'll see you back in class, ready to go. Uh, but that attendance form will be sent out by Mr. Hoffman. Um, he's sent out also a couple of reminders of making sure that you know that you need to check stuff in on a certain day. May 19th is our day. That is next Tuesday. Um, May 19th, check out that checklists. I went over it one of the videos last week, so you can take a look at that one if you need any more further instructions on it. Um, just basically bring everything in, take everything out. When you get here, you have designated times for everything, so keep that up. Um, so what this week actually means is... Basically, we're coming up, this is the last week, really, because next week there's only, would be a couple of days, and then the Wednesday would be the, you know, early release day anyway, or not early release, but the half day, last day kind of stuff. So really, this week was going to be the last week of school. Um, what this means is that this week is the what I need week, I think is what we're officially calling it, which means if you have any outstanding assignments, meaning from Friday on, uh, going on back, this is your chance now to get caught up, submit those things, tell the teachers that you're submitting them so that you can get your grade up to something that is respectable so you don't have to do any type of summer school. Because at the end of this week, pretty much, I mean, there's only a couple of days next week and some of you will not start having iPads next week since you're returning them on Tuesday, May 19th. If you are not caught up with all your work, and you're failing, you're going to have to take summer school. We don't want that to happen to you, so we're here available for you this week to make sure that you're filling out everything, making sure all the T's are crossed, dies are audited, everything's typed out, submitted, that you need. So make sure that you're in contact with your teachers on that so you don't have to do any work over the summer for these things because basically what happens is that you have to do a lot of the work that's been submitted already just now over the summer. So make sure that you're keeping up with everything that's going forward there. Um, now what you might also be seeing is those pass and incompletes and stuff go in there. Hopefully you get a lot more passes. Maybe even just get a flat old letter grade for it. Uh, remember those things that Mr. Hoffman explained at the beginning with one of his videos. If your grade is better or equal to your third quarter grade, you just get that grade. So if you had a 95A, in this stuff you got a 96, you got a 96. If it's below, so let's say you had an A, and during this e-learning time you have a B, you'll get a pass, meaning that you passed and you're going on to 8th grade. If you have an I for incomplete, that is the one that you don't want to have because basically that means you have to do summer school and show us that you know the stuff before moving on to 8th grade. So make sure that everything in there is saying P's or at least that you're getting a um, non-failing grade, basically, um, and, and you'll be A-OK -okay on that stuff. So if you have all your work caught up for you, the other things that are happening this week is what we're calling enrichment activities. It's kind of like at the start of the e-learning stuff where we uh, weren't taking grades yet. We we're kind of just doling out assignments and having you do some of these things here. That's what we're going to do here. Since this week usually was going to be our frog dissection week, I put some of our digital frog dissection stuff up online. Now, unfortunately, you won't get the hands-on experience of cutting into the frog this year. Um, but later down the line, you know, in high school, you'll be able to do that. So um, you'll be able to check it out at that point. What we got going on for you, I've labeled them as days because we were originally going to use this earlier in the year. Um, by no means do you have to follow the day-by-day -day things there. Since this is more enrichment activities, it's not expected of you to, you know, complete all of it. But if you want to do something here or there, or mainly if you want to just check out the website that we put together, or I put together, I should say, um, you can check out the website here. And let me bring it up full screen here so you can see it. And all this stuff will be posted. I'm just going to make one post. I might make other posts just with videos if more information comes along. 
um, that is relevant to you. Um, just make sure that you got it. But here, here's the website that I created. Uh, it would have been a couple of years ago. And actually this year I was going to have you guys updated a little bit for me because some of my pictures and things are a little bit older here. You've got some stuff dealing with the type of frog that we're doing, which is our northern leopard frog, which you can see in our little diagram here that is in the state of Illinois. So you might have seen some of these guys around. So we're looking at something that was native here. We have some stuff of what is a frog versus a toad. We were doing frogs, not toads. Um, and then we got the three pages of dealing with the anatomy. And when we talk about the anatomy, usually we compare the frog to ourselves uh, as we're talking about it in class. So some of these will have what the job of just general the parts of the frog will end up being. And I've got pictures of them. This is the part that I was going to have you guys help out with this year was your, when you were going to dissect. You were going to be taking, you were going to be taking pictures of your frogs and we're going to have you label them, submit them, and then these would be your pictures that we would put up there. But unfortunately, that couldn't happen this year. But that was my plan, at least, to show me some clearer pictures, just getting some more pictures on there, having little slideshows everywhere. That'd be kind of cool in my aspect there. Um, and some of these links do not go to the right spot. Oh, maybe they do. Yeah, they do. They're still good there. Um, what makes a male frog versus female frog going on there? We've got our dissection tutorial, which we have the tutorial steps of going through it. And I actually recorded a video last year of me going through the frog dissection and posted it on there. So you can kind of check that out for what a virtual dissection would look like, because that's essentially I walk you through what you would be doing for the frog and showing you all the different types of organs there. So if, if at least you do anything this week, you can take a look at the website, take a look at the video to see what you are going to be doing in class. Because um, remember, this stuff this week, at least for science, there might be some other things for some other classes where you're finishing up some of the essential stuff. But for science, we finished our ecology stuff. Um, and this is more of the enrichment. It's not going to be graded. It's not going to go in the grade book or anything. I'll be finalizing grades on Monday and Tuesday, so you should hopefully know what you got for science. Um, if you're hearing from me a lot, that probably means I need you to do something to get your grade increased so that you're not going to do summer school, so pay attention to those emails um, that go out there. Otherwise, they'll probably just be like, oh, you, here's your feedback on the assignment here or there uh, as I'm going through things currently and going to go through things Monday morning, Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning. Um because we have to report on things before then. So without further ado, I think that takes care of everything. All this stuff is going to be posted. I'm going to post it like it was an actual assignment, but just remember that it's not in the same vein from the aspect that it is not going to be a grade. So I hope you're staying safe out there. Just know the light's at the end of the tunnel. For most of you, you've already gotten through all your graded work, so you can kind of take that big sigh of relief um, and always remember that it is still a great day to be a junior potter. <laughs>